Luton kicked off, playing from right to left, wearing light shirts. From the start, Forrest seemed much more at home in the great stadium, taking the ball into the Luton goal area. Quigley got in a shot which Ron Bainham was lucky to clear at the second attempt. At the other end, a Luton attack was foiled by left half Jack Burkett. In goal, Chick Thompson showed signs of Wembley nerves, but Burkett cleared. Forrest centre forward, Tommy Wilson cleverly put the ball out to his wing. Stuart M. Like passed to Dwight, and it was in the net. Knots were a goal up in ten minutes. What a wonderful start. An early goal is a great tonic in any match, nowhere more than in the cup final. Knots attacked again. Before Benham knew it, Wilson headed the second goal. No wonder Forrest were jubilant. In 14 minutes, there were two goals up, and they didn't intend to rest on their oars. Dwight was tackled by right-back McNally. To Nottingham's dismay, he was put on a stretcher. So, after little more than half an hour, Forrest were reduced to ten men. Wembley Cup final history was indeed repeating itself. Now, if ever, Luton had a chance to draw level. They put on the pressure, and Forrest were lucky to escape at the expense of a corner. This was the most anxious moment Billy Walker's men had had so far, but they survived till half-time. Forest supporters were in high fettle when play was resumed and Forrest kicked off. They led 2-0, but it was noticed that Roy Dwight was still off the field. He was out of the match with a broken shin bone. But Nottingham weren't content with defence. Straight away they attacked, and Luton goalkeeper Ron Bainham had to clear. It was only a brief respite. Forrest, inside left Billy Gray, began another attack. Centre forward Tom Wilson headed to Imlac. It brought no reward, but it did show that the depleted Forrest were as full of fight as ever. The question was, could they keep up the strain? Luton, outside left, Tony Gregory made ground and put the ball dangerously into the middle. A Luton header was intercepted, fortunately for Forrest. Is the leadership OK, Monty? Knott's goalkeeper, Chick Thompson, saw danger coming on the Luton left. Centre-half McKinley conceded a corner. Left back Ken Hawes put the ball across the goal and left half Dave Pacey beat Thompson with a great shot. How the Hatters cheered. Only one goal behind now. It put New Hart into Luton. Thompson saved. Bingham robbed McDonald. Only for Pacey to shoot wide. Again Bingham centred. Great chance for Luton here. But again Chick Thompson got the ball away. The whistle went for time. Nottingham Forest had won the cup. Skipper Jack Burkett led his team of ten men to the Royal Box. It's 61 years since Forest won the cup before. What a triumph for him and his brilliant team, but what a tragedy that Roy Dwight wasn't there to receive his medal. To win the cup is a great feat at any time. To win with ten men is an epic achievement. <laughs>